Follow. Car on the front lawn, front doors unlocked. Bottles on the dining room table, they all unpop. Keys on the floor, my cell phone's off the hip. It's the middle of the week, but the Moscato's on my lips. We in preparation for something greater than these moments. That's why everything I just mentioned is half open or half finished. And in my mind, I'm half finished. So we departed the dinner table in mid sentence. On to the next episode is what I'm thinking. But there's a question on her mind, I know it cause she's blinking. She could ask me the same question a million times, but a million times I'ma reply with the same line. Step out. My name is. <laughs> I don't know if I should get my government on this thing, but I guess it doesn't matter. My name is Ryan Easter. I have been doing audio for 22 years in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, I started off in what was called the kitchen. No, actually that's not true. I started off on a back porch. It had no heat, but it was an enclosed back porch. Mm -hmm. And I was when I was like 19. And I lived with my mom and she was like, yo, you can make music. Just, you know, find somewhere in the house. She bought me a computer, listen to this, she bought me a computer and put it in the kitchen. In the kitchen where she cooked home fries and like, and out and some little computer speakers. And I'm not knocking that because mm -hmm. this was her idea of keeping me from doing bad stuff or things that were unproductive. Not that I was like in the streets or anything, but it was just a good way for me to do something with my time. Right. I was working in the kitchen. She took this old table that she had had probably since before I was living and put a little sheet on the table and set the computer up and like she felt good about this too like yeah you got space over there you can work on it and slowly I would realize I couldn't play my music loud so I would like part out the computer and my parts my setup and I would take it on this back porch mm -hmm. and then um, I started making music back on this back porch in the summer it'd be ultra hot and in the winter it'd be ultra cold so I would like take some gloves and cut off the fingertips have a little skull cap and a hoodie and just be back there going to town that's how I started <clears throat> then I started making music in the kitchen downstairs that's when I met Neek uh, and then it that's turned like 2009 right uh, maybe 8 mm, okay. then it then after that it turned into, we built a studio in the basement of that house and then we started recording down there. And then I finally got a job as a regional director for an organization called Notes for Notes. You can look it up if you'd like. Um, and that was like, like honestly, like my first full-time job. It's like a salary position and everything, so it was sweet. And from there, I started teaching youth music, uh, you know, and programming, things of the sort. And then I got a few studios under me, and now I am an area director for Notes for Notes, and I also am a program director for the Ohio Media School, where we teach audio emphasis uh, to adults. Six months out of the year, uh, they learn mixing, mastering, sound waves, production. Any problem that's ever happened in audio and mixing, I have encountered it. And I've taught myself. So now here I am, gonna turn Neek's $7 setup <laughs> into, <laughs> ever. into a, uh, something better. So, uh, yeah. Y'all stay tuned, okay? It's gonna be a process, but we're gonna get there. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing, sir? Mm. So we are going to turn Unique's space into something way better than it was prior. What's today's date? The 23rd. Something way better than it was prior to October 23rd. So, and you know what? I think, I think for the dopeness of the DIY, we should like explain the parts too. Mm -hmm. So, and you gotta tell me the price. Mm -hmm. This part right here, Ikea. Mm -hmm. 
And what are we going to do with these? You got to tell them how much it costs. It was, um, I think, $21? $21 from Ikea. And we, we looked, because there is a major shortage on table legs <laughs> in North America right now. <laughs> so we tried to get some table legs from Ikea, but no, no mind. So we are going to take these tabletops, mm -hmm. and we are going to... <clears throat> I don't know if y'all y'all out there in viewer land use the word nigger rig, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the wooden legs over there. We're gonna kind of just make some legs. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> for the time being, until Unique decides to paint them, we're going to put them on the bottom of these tables and then we're gonna make an L-shaped desk. Then we're gonna find some blankets. This is a really a home DIY move that we're gonna do that will get the uh, desired results. We're gonna blanket up the recording booth over here with the talking heads in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna blanket it up. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be proofed where instead of, hey, 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 well, listen to it. <laughs> instead of that, it's like that drywall sound, it's gonna sound real dried out. Okay. Drying out the booth is dope for when you go to mix what you've recorded, vocals in particular, you want to add reverb. The reverb will actually be cleaner, especially if you use a convolution reverb, but the reverb will be cleaner and more believable and less artificial if the source is recorded in a 100% dried out space. Okay. So great thing about this space that Neek has is her floor is carpet. That's plus number one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, yes, once we get these blankets, and the blankets is gonna be like a, a, a Amazon move, like 20, 25 bucks a blanket. We're gonna dry this space out, and when she sings from here, you know what, I guess I can show y'all this because it's funny to me, and it might be funny to you, but look at Neek's old setup. Look at this. Which, I'm not actually knocking what she has. I'm knocking more how she has it. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> she's like, oh, I'm going to stick my little hands in here. Did you see that? You see that? Look at that thing. So. I tried. That's pretty much. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's pretty much what we're working with. But we're going to make it dope. Yeah. So, Neek is going to start rocking even more on Studio One. And, oh, oh, let me throw this on y'all. She now has Native Instruments complete control. Anybody who makes music knows Native Instruments has probably the best sounds that money can buy mm -hmm. attached to them. And it's about to get real. So for these next couple of days, hopefully the next time I'm on here, I will have showered. <laughs> I'll be a little fresher and a little sleep to revitalize the body, but yes. Just watch the process as it goes. No more squinting. No more no more squinting to look at the... <laughs> he made me buy it. You're gonna be happy about this purchase. Okay. It Cop looks big. nice, it looks dope. You can put my head in this screen like three times. Squish it to I know the feeling. <laughs> that face. <laughs> the thing about this board is you can control every part of the sequencer, which is the software, mm -hmm. from this controller. So you can start it, press and play. Mm -hmm. You can stop it. You can record. You can even set your tempo mm -hmm. by just clicking on it. Or if you want it faster, whatever. Mm -hmm. You can turn the click on. As you see, the light lights up when you turn stuff on. You turn the click on or off. You can turn the loop on or off. Right now, it's not lighting up because it's both it's at once. And we don't have anything. You can quantize directly from the, the controller. So when you play something, blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, it sounds a little fucked up. You hit quantize, bang. If you don't like it, you can hit undo. Mm -hmm. Da, 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 da. Okay.
Click, click, click. 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 Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. So. And then. That was it. Got you. Okay. Quantize that. Let's just see what it sounds like. Play it for me. No, I mean, can I hear it too, please? She didn't hear me. That sounds. That sounds dope. Let me hear it. There you go. Now turn it down for your neighbors to start acting up. All right, that's that's solid though. Good work. Her feelings, she break hearts, she stay quiet, she play smart, she take pride. I'm going out, we getting holiday, I'm saying nah, she's no saint, but she don't pose. She don't wear makeup by the bolo, riding through Lake Shore with the nose up. She don't really dodge, but it slows up. She got haters, but we all do. Heard you when the time cold, shawty far through. Baby, look at their approach, how they caught you. All of mind games, never mind, cause they all lose.